Hey, what is up guys? So we got a very amazing replay. It was sent in by a moderator playing against another one of my mods in uh, my live stream. But anyways, uh, it's Trigger versus Progenerator. Trigger is actually playing a synchro based deck and the Progenerator is playing uh, the New Atlantean deck. And it really just shows you how strong the New Atlanteans can be because when I saw this card, I'm like, you know, it's not enough, but it really just shows you how strong that can be, especially if Dragoons goes back to multiple into the TCG, because we have the band that's coming around the corner, so maybe they'll give them some more support by uh, putting Dragoons at like two or something like that. Anyways, Trigger opens up for a first one, really aggressive play, and then uh, he goes ahead and uh, gets the Sardis out, and then um, Bottomless was uh, gonna stop that from making it game. Otherwise, uh, Progenerator would have lost right there had he not had the uh, card to negate with. But he still has a Compulse back here. So he's gonna go ahead and Compulse Void Ogre, forcing that negation out immediately. And he's gonna go ahead and Deep Sea Diva, go ahead and go for Infantry. Infantry gives you the extra summon. And then that Atlantean Prince, man, too strong. I'm gonna be tributing or getting rid of those three cards for the uh, Procedure over here. So you can tribute three level three or lower water monsters, special from the hand. And then it bounces back all spell and traps. And then uh, all the monsters your opponent controls was just 300 attack for each. Um, he didn't have any back row because Trigger, he's all in, man. He doesn't need back row. And then Abeels is man. At this point, it's like, well, um, from my knowledge, I mean, Mermels, you just go ahead and you just take it with Big Eye, but I don't know how the New Atlanteans would actually have gotten over this card. But uh, nonetheless, we still have a Procedure out on the board, which is 2,800 attack. Still a decent amount of attack. And then Procedure is coming out for days, and then he's going to go ahead and go for Big Eye and then, like, you absorb it. But, um... And then uh, Plague Sprayer is going. I don't know. I don't know why Trigger had this in attack mode. Trigger. That was. I think Trigger was just doing some extra stuff just for the funsies of it. But nonetheless, uh, Trigger is on the defensive. He's he can't really do anything at this point because uh, Big Guy is still a strong card in the game. And then um, that Marksman is going to get that effect. And then he's got double of the uh, Net Abyss over here. And the Procedure is going to go ahead and special summon itself. And then like the amount of free pluses that you're getting here is just crazy. I mean, you guys can see like. He had a good field, now he has the field and Trigger draws in the bottom list, which can't be used in the Trigger. He's gonna go ahead and uh, pass and then at this point, look at this field though, it is so dang strong. Bahamut Shark is summoned um, over there. And it didn't really matter even if there was Mirror Force because then this card would have survived anyways. But look at this guy's field. It almost reminds me of back in the day when uh, Mermills were just a super fast, super strong deck. I mean, you could really just see that new card, that Net Abyss, I really feel like it really helps out the deck, but I mean, I could see if Dragoons was like to two or three, then we're looking at a very, very strong deck. And there was no Megalo summon here because Megalo added a little bit of inconsistency with the deck because sometimes you open up too many Megalos and uh, not enough good cards to discard with. And you know, if they, you know, stop them uh, from coming out and you just go way, way too minus, especially when you're forced to make plays that you don't want to actually make. Cause there's like, maybe there's, there's no set cards to uh, pop and you're just discarding. And you can just go kind of minus with it. But anyways, that's pretty cool. I really love that duel right there. I mean, I felt like if Trigger made it, would have made a Quasar, or if he was able to make it. Um, I mean, he had a pretty strong opener, but uh, it, unless you're going for Quasar, you can't go all in. I mean, Void Ogre, maybe against some decks, you can make use of it. But for the most part, I feel like you got to have Quasar out because you got to be able to stop, you know, just anything. Uh, because any deck can just, at this point in the game, can just, you know, make you uh, just... If, even if there's only one spell that they can negate, they can just activate another one, or there's there's just too many potential swarms, and uh, yeah, that's the thing that you, you they gotta deal with now. But anyways, thank you. I believe Progenerator sent me in this replay, but thank you, Progenerator, for showing us that, uh, you know, that new little card, it makes a huge difference in the deck. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. A 